we see a cart the cart is loaded with the luggage in order to move the cart we need to apply a force the push or pull is a force which is easier to move push or pull a man is pushing the cart and another man is pulling the cart who finds easy to move the cart now let us find out the answer by applying the principles of physics push an object is pushed at an angle theta when an object is pushed at an arbitrary angle theta from 0 to 90 degree the applied force f can be resolved into two components f cos theta which is perpendicular to the surface of the ground f sin theta which is parallel to the surface of the ground the gravitational force acting downwards on the object is mg the normal contact force n exerted by the surface of the ground acts upward the component f cos theta acts downwards it implies that the normal force acting on the body increases hence n push equal to mg plus f cos theta as the normal force n push increases the maximal static friction also increases f max s push equal to mu s n push where mu s is the coefficient of static friction f s equal to mu s into mg plus f cos theta free body diagram here the object is taken as a point this is the downward force this is a normal reaction force this is the force what we apply on the object this is the frictional force pull an object is pulled at an angle theta when an object is pulled at an angle theta the applied force f is resolved into two components vis f cos theta and f sin theta the gravitational force acting downwards on the object is mg the normal contact force n exerted by the surface of the ground acts upward the component f cos theta acts upwards the normal force which acts upward is equal to the total downward force acting on the body hence n pull equal to mg minus f cos theta as the normal force n pull decreases the maximal static friction also decreases fs max pull equal to mu s n pull where mu s is the coefficient of static friction fs is equal to mu s into mg minus f cos theta free body diagram as usual we take the object as point mg is the downward force acting on the object n is the normal force acting upward f is the direction of the force applied on the body and fs is the static friction push versus pull n push equal to mg plus f cos theta fs equal to mu s into mg plus f cos theta the above equation shows that a greater force needs to be applied to push the object into motion pull n pull equal to mg minus f cos theta fs equal to mu s into mg minus f cos theta the above equation shows that less force needs to be applied to pull the object into motion hence pulling is easier than pushing to move an object